Kia ora, I'm Sherry Kinnear and these are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. Allied health workers are fed up being overworked and underpaid and they're set to begin industrial action today before a full 24-hour strike next week. After 18 months of negotiations, the Employment Relations Authority made a recommendation last week which DHBs are yet to act on. PSA organiser Will Matthews says a lot of these workers could head overseas if a new offer isn't put on the table. We have people being actively targeted by Australian health agencies who can offer tens of thousands of dollars more even as a starting rate than an allied health worker can ever hope to earn in New Zealand. Staying with health, there's calls for the government to find a solution for the growing number of nurses being stood down because they can't get their booster shots. Nurses are required to have their third shot of the COVID vaccine, but many can't because they've had COVID within the last three months. Some are being stood down, sometimes without pay, while they wait until seven weeks for a medical exemption to return to work. And the emergence of new variants is heightening the risk of people catching COVID more than once. The BA5 variant of Omicron has been detected at New Zealand's border for the first time. The person arrived from South Africa on April 26 and tested positive on May 1st. Otago University epidemiologist Professor Michael Baker says if we look overseas to places like the UK, reinfections are over 10% of cases. That just means that you won't just get this infection once, you will get it multiple times. And each time you get it, it will be obviously uh, unpleasant, but it may also increase the risk of long COVID each time you get it. Funding to combat ram raids can't come soon enough for New Zealand dairies. More than $562 million has been promised over four years for more frontline police, a new firearms unit, and a package for businesses to protect themselves. The Dairy and Business Owners Group say they welcome the announcement, but hopes it's only the first step and that the money and help is needed now, not in six months. National says there are signs of a change of approach from police when it comes to dealing with gang activity. Police have arrested one person, impounded seven bikes and issued 130 infringement notices during pre-planned activity around the Headhunters headquarters over the weekend. They're also reviewing CCTV footage and carrying out further inquiries for further evidence of dangerous behaviour. National Police spokesperson Mark Mitchell says he's glad to see police starting to take strong action and he hopes it continues. And taxpayers have forked out almost $1 million for virtual job expos run by the Ministry of Social Development. Our newsroom can reveal the events failed to fire with just 126 people taking part since the first pilot two years ago. The online seminars where businesses tried to recruit job seekers came at a hefty price, costing close to $7,000 per person. And those are the latest New Zealand Herald headlines. For more and to stay up to date, head to nzherald.co. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel to stay up to date with all the latest news from the New Zealand Herald. Click the subscribe button below or check out one of the videos here and head over to nzherald.co.nz for more details on these stories and more.